This is one of the most mind-bending puzzles you'll ever see. In this position, white is up a rook and a bishop, but black has these weird double pawns that's just about to queen. White can't really stop it because the rook can't go here and the bishop is in the wrong color. So how does white win this game? The answer is to look for checks that alter the position in our favor. So there are three checks in this position, bishop here, check, bishop here, check, and rook f7. I was trying to solve this puzzle a while ago and I first thought about rook f7 check. Unfortunately, after king e8, we don't have time to go all the way down because black is gonna queen in one move. So I crossed that off my list. Then I thought about bishop c6 check. This seemed pretty clever because if you go down here, this is actually checkmate. And if black goes anywhere on the e-file, we can do a fork and this gives us enough time to win both pawns. But I didn't stop there. You always gotta look for tricky defenses. After this check, black has the amazing king d6 seemingly giving up, but keep going. Pawn e1, queen, rook takes e1 and this stalemate draw so I had to cross out bishop c6 it almost worked though what is left to be played we have bishop f5 check this one looks better because if the king goes d6 this time we could still do the pawn takes and it's no longer stalemate because this bishop doesn't cover this square black can still go here so white wins okay so bishop f5 check looks promising so far but there's one nifty defense for black. King d8, we force the king to come to the e-file, right? They go here, we check. This time, they go back to d8, giving up the first pawn. What should we do here? Should we take? If we take, black goes e1 queen. And when we take, it's stalemate again. Oh my goodness. So I could have solved this puzzle and I was driving back home, but I, it was you know, bothering me that I couldn't solve it. And on the drive back, I was just in my mind trying to see where could I have done better? Can you guys see where I could improve here? After about 30 minutes of driving, I was almost home. I found the move. Bishop F5 check, the same line, right? King D8, check, check. So here, I thought, what if we just let them queen? And then we could somehow checkmate on e8. So I was like, wow, if the bishop was somewhere on this diagonal, that would be a nice way to checkmate with the rook. But I don't have enough time to go here because he's gonna queen in one move, right? So if I go here, here, and here, if I had one more move, even if it was black's turn, black has no checks, and this would be a checkmate. Then I had a Eureka moment. White should play Bishop D7. A brilliant move, giving up the bishop. It doesn't matter if the bishop can be taken because then it's no longer stalemate. So black queens, and now we play Bishop B5, shielding the king from all the checks. This pawn works for us. And now no matter what black does, it's always gonna be a checkmate. An amazing puzzle.